Hello and welcome to Wild Bill Jamming. We're going to start this video review with a World War I poem written by Private Baldrick. It's called Have You Heard the German Guns? I hope you enjoy it. Hello, welcome to Wild Bill Jamming. I hope you're well. Welcome to Beyond the Wire, the 2020 World War One death simulator. Mmm. I can't see shit, can This game is absolute madness. If you're watching this in the daytime, you might need to shut your curtains because this is how dark it is. And this is why the game is fantastic for this very reason. Go, go, go. What you're looking at now is a bunch of people just getting into the game, having no idea what the hell is going on. And as you charge through the Argonne Forest, looking for a fight, you quickly realise you don't want to be at the front. You guys go first, yeah? After you, Obi. So like any officer worth his salt, Obi leads the way. Let's go for C. The orders are in. We're going for C. And then things start getting a little bit spicy. With shots getting closer and closer, we knew enemies were nearby. Some down here, mate. Two left. It was hard to tell friend from foe. Oh shit! Now in the trenches, I fixed my bayonet. And with a puff of smoke and blood, I'd killed my first enemy. His face etched into my mind for all eternity. And then we began to experience PTSD. <laughs> before the tea had even started. We found ourselves emerging from the complicated trench system. Out of the frying pan. And into the fire. Our hands were shaking with fear. It's hard to land a shot. We pull back onto our own objective, but in all the confusion, fear can override you. Oh shit! Sorry, mate. Oh god. We got too excited then. I get you up. I have taken damage, guys. I think I did. I have enemies running around me. Watch out! We'll be just. And that was it. The war was over for me until I spawn straight back in. And this is kind of how the game goes. It's a lot of running in, shooting people, getting shot, respawn, over and over again. It's pretty accurate to World War One, I, I guess. Oh, the old respawning part. For the creators of Squad to make a game about World War One is quite a strange choice, because World War One wasn't really known for its tactics, or any good tactics anyway. So what's the game like? I think it goes one of two ways. See the utter confusion. <laughs> fucking hell. Are you coming? <laughs> There's fucking guys all over here. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Take me, Johnny. It's popping off, man. <laughs> Did you get him, Johnny? Are you down? Yeah, everyone's down. Oh shit. Oh, great. Fuck, there's loads! Thank you. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. Or utter yep. death, then confusion. Yeah, I'm dead. So quickly, just to explain how the game modes work. It's basically attack and defend. In this game, we're defending. And personally, I think that's where you have all the fun. Because the gun mechanics in this game are incredibly difficult. So it's a lot easier as a defender to sit in one spot 
Oh my god, we've got loads here. Your stamina bar is really important. And when you're attacking, you're normally running like a madman. So it goes pretty quick. And that couple of seconds between reloading feels like an eternity. And that's if you actually remember to reload it. Oh my god. And whilst there's a lot of fun to be had, it does become a little bit stale quite quickly. Especially if you're attacking. It's just like walking into a wall of fire. Because it's still early access and it's kind of bring your own immersion at the minute. And don't get me wrong, the game does offer a lot of cool stuff. You have great moments like this. Shit off. Where it is pure panic. <laughs> Shit! But more often than not, you'll die a lot sooner than you want to. But just like any kind of game like this. Go, go, go. I only really enjoy it when the people are communicating and having fun with it as well, which isn't happening yet. And one thing I find weirdly annoying and takes me out of the immersion is the way that people move. And I know they move the same way in squad. It's just something not quite right. They just move a bit weird. They stand up really tall. Not like in Hell Let Loose where they're kind of ducked down, even, even when they're sprinting. And everyone's mouse sensitivity is really high, so everyone's whipping around and it just looks weird, man. And I guess this goes hand in hand with the hand-to-hand -hand combat of which I don't have too much footage of because every time you try and get close to someone you usually get shot in the face. So the ultimate question is, is it worth a buy? And it's a tricky question. Mm, kind of. If you're really into World War One, I, I reckon you'll absolutely love this. It's a perfect blend of like Battlefield and Verdun. Really difficult shooting, really difficult to see people. And I like that, I really like the hardcore elements about it. What I'm not mad on is the just constant charging in and it kind of feels like you're going in alone unless you really sort stuff out with your teammates. Maybe that's an early days thing and we're all a bit excited to get out there and start shooting people. I think if you've got a group of mates this game would be really fun because you could really get in, stuck into it and have a good laugh. Um, I don't really do reviews, it's not really my thing. I, I've only just started this YouTube channel and just play Hell Let Loose. But I can tell you, if you're coming into these games just to shoot people, I don't think you'll get your bang for your buck. So when the guys that I play with normally went offline, it got very boring pretty quickly. Is it worth 30 quid? I don't know, if you're saving up for Cyberpunk or something else like that, I'd maybe keep your money in your pocket. Just because there's not that much content there at the minute. There's only a handful of maps up. So for 30 quid, I think you you need a few more elements to the game before you start charging that. Kind of feels like a pretty good beta at the minute. I have to say, I'm not quite sure what this game is. It kind of feels like a math teacher trying to teach pole dancing. They just don't quite understand fun. Everything's very accurate and very precise, but it's just missing that edge. And I can't quite put my finger on it. It's basically squad without the tactics. And I'm not sure who wants that. So to sum up, it's kind of, eh. I haven't really felt the urge to go back and play it again yet. Which is a little bit worrying. Whereas Battlefield 1, I played that open beta as much as I could. Because technically, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's a good game. You can do stuff and whatever performs well, all that kind of stuff. I don't really know anything about computers, but I'd say it's one to watch. Maybe hold on to that 30 quid for now. But if you have played it, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, as I said, I don't really do reviews, so it's quite weird. I don't really think in terms of the sound and the netcode and stuff like that. I just kind of play the game and if I enjoy it, I'll enjoy it. I don't know. But yeah, let me know if, what you think of it down below. And let's put it this way, I'll see you next Wednesday for some more Hell Let Loose action.